Winnie was trying hard to solve his maths homework. His sister Lucy noticed that he was much tensed. Let's see what happens next. Hi Lucy, I'm unable to complete the maths activity. I have to submit it tomorrow. Why have you drawn so many triangles? Do you remember that our school has a triangular garden? Mm, yes, I do. But a teacher asked all the students to measure any one side of the triangular plot, and I have noted that length as well. Our teacher drew two triangles, one of which represented the triangular garden, and the other looked quite alike to the triangular plot. He mentioned the length of each side in the latter. In fact, he had also calculated the area of this triangle. What is the problem then? Our task is to find the area of the triangular garden. But I have measured only one side of the garden. How shall I find the area of the garden using this diagram? Oh, Winnie, you can solve this question within a couple of minutes. All you need to know is a theorem based on the area of triangles. Explain it to me, please. Well, I think you should watch a video. When you will get to know the theorem, you will laugh at your stupidity. And that brings us to the very first part of Triangle Section 3. You might be thinking why Lucy called winning stupid and what the theorem is. To let you know all these facts, Team Notebook is back with a brand new session on area of similar triangles. This theorem is based on the area of similar triangles and it states that the ratio of the area of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of the corresponding sides. But how? I know that must be your question, so let's get into the proof. As per the statement of the theorem, we have two similar triangles, say PQR and XYZ. We have to show that the ratio of the area of these triangles is equal to the ratio of the square of the corresponding sides. Let us draw a perpendicular PM on the side QR and a perpendicular XN on the side YZ. Since the corresponding angles of similar triangles are equal, therefore angle P is equal to angle X, angle Q is equal to angle Y, angle R is equal to angle Z. The corresponding sides are proportional too. This implies PQ by XY is equal to QR by YZ is equal to PR by XZ. Let's mark this as equation 1. Thus, in triangle PQM and XYN, angle PMQ is equal to angle XNY is equal to 90 degrees each. Angle Q is equal to angle Y. So, by the angle-angle criterion of similarity, triangle PQM is similar to triangle XYN. Therefore, by definition, we can write PM by XN is equal to PQ by XY. Let's say this is equation 2. Comparing equations 1 and 2, we obtain PQ by XY is equal to QR by YZ is equal to PR by XZ is equal to PM by XN. Remember this as equation 3. I hope you remember how to calculate the area of a triangle. Yes, it's half of the product of base and height. Now, area of triangle PQR by area of triangle XYZ is equal to half into QR into PM whole divided by half into YZ into XN is equal to QR by YZ into PM by XN because half cancels out. Note that from equation 3, QR by YZ is equal to PM by XN. So area of triangle PQR divided by area of triangle XYZ is equal to QR by YZ into QR by YZ is equal to QR squared by YZ squared. But from equation 1, PQ by XY is equal to QR by YZ is equal to PR by XZ. This implies PQ square by XY square is equal to QR square by YZ square is equal to PR square by XZ square. Therefore, area of triangle PQR by area of triangle XYZ is equal to PQ square by XY square is equal to QR square by YZ square is equal to PR squared by XZ squared. Friends, what else can you conclude from this theorem? Observe equation 3. See the ratio of the corresponding height or altitude in both triangles is the same as the ratio of the corresponding sides. So the ratio of the area of triangle PQR to that of XYZ can also be interpreted as the ratio of the square of the altitudes. 
Now let's help Vinny to solve his problem. Suppose triangle ABC is the triangular garden and triangle DEF is the diagram drawn by the teacher. As per Vinny, these triangles are quite alike. In the words of geometry, these are similar. So area of triangle ABC by area of triangle DEF is equal to AB square by DE square. The value of AB and DE is given. And as per Vinny, the area of triangle DEF is also known. Friends, do not forget to convert the measurements into the same unit. Now, area of triangle ABC by area of triangle DEF is equal to AB square by DE square. Putting the value of the known components, area of triangle ABC is equal to 200 into 200 into 12 centimeters square. That is equal to 480000 centimeters square, which is equal to 48 meters square. Many such situations are easy to understand when viewed from the aspect of geometry. On that note, we arrive at the end of this session. I hope it was an interesting one. We shall continue our discussion on some more facts about the area of similar triangles in our upcoming session. Till then, keep learning, take care and goodbye from Team Node.